Item number SCP-6599 Security Level 2 Containment Class Keter Disruption Class Kenic Risk Class Danger Special Containment Procedures Warlow AIC can't eat tracks or known account under the username Hog Slice. Posts from this account are to be taken down as soon as possible. Should an Alt F4 event occur, Embedded Foundation agents and law enforcement are to recognize the markings of an Alt F4 event and effectively contain the situation following standard bail protocol. Update 2014, November 19th. Following the event detailed in Addendum CT5996, SCP 6599s object class is pending reclassification to neutralized. Description SCP 6599 is a collective of internet accounts registered under the username Hogslice. SCP-6599 are present across 68% of the websites that allow for account creation. Though activity is centered on hobbyist message boards, with the oldest recorded instance dated to 1999, SCP-6599 accounts are somewhat knowledgeable about the topic of the website they are posting to, as well as extremely active posting upwards of 100 times a day across all accounts in the form of responses to other users. Accounts have been observed to post contemporaneously with one another. Though typing pan analysis coupled with SCP-6599's anomalous effects indicates that the likelihood of SCP-6599 being multiple individuals or an organized effort is remarkably low. SCP-6599 accounts are English-speaking and communicate in a hostile argumentative pan consistent across all instances, insulting users and making boastful statements about themselves. This behavior often prompts action by site moderators who will most likely implement a ban on the account. To date, there have been no recorded instances of an SCP-6599 account attempting to circumvent a ban. If an individual engages an SCP-6599 account in a compatible way, such as inserting the instance of provoking a response from SCP-6599, an Alt-F4 event is likely to occur. These events result in a hostile entity designated SCP-6599-1 manifesting near the individual's present location a short time after the argument. Analysis of SCP-6599 activity has determined only 40% of the engagement result in the appearance of SCP-6599-1. SCP-6599-1 is a humanoid entity resembling professional wrestler Scott Ricksteiner, known under the ring name Scott Steiner. SCP-6599-1 is sapient, sentient, with an estimated intelligence similar to that of an average adult human, and anonymously enhanced strength and durability. After manifesting, SCP-6599-1 will locate the individual it had engaged in an argument with online and proceed to verbally berate and physically batter them to the point of hospitalization. SCP-6599-1 will then demanifest from its target's location. While no fatalities have been resulted from an out-of-4 event, SCP-6599-1's frequently causes damage to the surrounding area during its assault. Addendum 6599-1 Discovery SCP-6599 was discovered on March 28, 2008 on Power Watch Net. Favorite cryptid threat? Big fan of the squad personally. It's a little pig looking thing from Pennsylvania that cries because it's so ugly. People track it by looking for a path covered in tear stains. While people find it, it dissolves itself by crying. Wonder if it's saying something that I like it. Hmm, oh, whatever. 
What kind of beta male prissy crap is that? Women and children cry. I don't. Be freaking brawn. Be freaking heavy. You're too busy creaming your pants over an idiot no one ever heard of instead of admiring a real motherfucker. A mothman. Fuck. Mothman can fly. Fuck. Moths eat clothes. Fuck. Mothman has red eyes that peer into your crap stained pussy soul. I don't even think you'd look anything or anyone in the eye because your father never taught you respect. Grow a pair of balls. Hog slice. I don't know why you're so upset about this. Chill out, man. I just want to talk about some cryptids, that's all. Sorry if my choice offended you. Don't tell me what to do again, whore. Your choice was stupid, and you should feel upset about it. Go cry about it like... That dumb thing that doesn't even exist. This is Obama's America. Hawk slice. You know what? I was having a crap day and wanted to talk about some nice people and you just ruined it. Go screw yourself. The freak you just say to me? Hawk slice. The operator of the Greg the Copper Count, organ resident Gregory Kaplan, was discovered later the same day with a fractured skull, two broken femurs, and a shattered humerus. A police report that was filed by Kaplan described a humanoid entity that appeared, attacked him, and disappeared from his home. Auto AIC's anomaly detection software was triggered and then prompted foundation investigation, following confiscation of relevant materials. Discussions on how best to contain SCP-2599 were held at Secure Facility Area, 179. Addendum, CJ-5992. Notable examples. Notable examples of SCP-6599 behavior have been catalogued below. Date, 2010, December 12th. Website, Muppet Central. A forum dedicated to discussion of Jim Henson's The Muppets and associated works. Description, incident occurred in a thread posted by user Dark Life. Exchange has been transcribed below. Super exciting find. An acquaintance of mine has located a singing ship from the In the Navy sketch. Owner is a relative of a former Henson prop engineer and is debating either auctioning it off or donating the item to an archive of Muppet memorabilia. Image album here. What do you say, Muppet Central? Any takers? No! No one wants this crap, candy ass! I hate those damn puppets! Not calling them the end name! That's stupid! I know I'm going to shatter dreams! <laughs> I know I'm going to shatter dreams here! But I don't care, baby! That's what I do! Jim Hansen Conman is a fraud and has thrown the woo over your eyes for decades! You watch his shows without even questioning what's on the screen in front of you! Frogs do not talk. Bears cannot dance. Dumbass red guys who look like they live in the throat don't play drums. And fruit don't do chemistry. You can see the swings when they move. They are puppets. Motherfucker, I have puppeteered in the past. Anyone with a half a brain, half the balls, and any experience in the puppet business can tell you that show is all puppets. I saw this in the 70s when you were still in diapers. I wasn't falling for that crap. The puppets are big and full tiny babies. Dumb children who don't do anything with their lives. Pay for some actors, Jim. Or put my fist up your ass like a real man and admit you use puppets. Hog slice. Send for my iPhone. Aftermath. Led to fuck into an argument between SCP-6599 and other Muppet Central users concerning the purpose, popularity, and the production of the Muppet Show had lasted for seven pages of posts before disciplinary action was taken by the moderator. Hours of following the band, Georgia resident Jamal White, operator of the Thought Life account, reported SCP-6599-1 entering his residence via detaching the front door with his hands. 
and the Punisher Banjo and the Liberty rendition of Rainbow Connection with lyrics lampooning Henson and the Muppets while assaulting White with the object to the point of unconsciousness. An excerpt of these lyrics, which SCP-6591 repeatedly, unceasingly throughout the incident, have been transcribed from the recording of the assault and included below. Someday I'll find it, a reason to give a crap about Henson, the Muppets, and you. Upon scp 2591s exit, White White filed a police report and admitted him to the hospital, where he was treated for blunt trauma, a fractured corpus, and internal bleeding in the brain. Following treatment, Standard fair retention protocol was enacted and amnestics were administered to the White household. Date 2011, April 28th. Website Money Beetle, a Japanese message for insect fighting enthusiasts to congregate, bet on competitions, and discuss the sport. The website had recently come under scrutiny from law enforcement after the murder of a hobbyist following a dispute over winnings from a tournament. The description incident occurred in a thread posted by user Prize Cricket. Exchange has been transcribed below. Messages have been translated from Japanese, with the exception of posts made by SCP-2599. I'd like to thank everyone for participating in the District 11 semi-final competition yesterday. The prize money had been distributed and Money Beetle's very own doggy has taken the winnings. With his female dog bug, Seno, demolishing the competition, here is a successful reminder of the tournament. Exciting matches is to be expected from the District of Evan Superstars. They have been uploaded to my YouTube channel. I thought that Dementis was going to win in that last match, but I guess Seno really is the strongest. Don't know what the hell you are saying because I only speak American, but it sounds like to me you don't know how much of a badass motherfucker my Hercules Beetle is. You think you're a big man? Bull crap. Meet Rocky. He's a machine running off the fumes of pure hatred and sin. Just like his daddy. I found him outside a YMCA. Look at him. That's a shell. Woo, mama! It's Titanium. In case you bug fighting professionals have any more doubt, let me list some of his feet for you. Rocky popularized an ant into a fine paste and ate him too. Rocky took on five millipedes on one. My dog Brutus is scared of Rocky. Rocky trains daily and is proud to be a winner like me. I would not abandon him like your dumb big father would. No bugs are pussy vomit and will not survive a day in the wild. So it's a good thing the Captain Keaches. Ha! I didn't laugh, by the way. That's a bitch thing. I don't do that. And yes, I named him after Rocky Balboa the movie. What a badass movie. Wow, I bet you never heard of it, kid. I will crush you miserable pieces of crap. Hog slice. Slow down, cowboy. Are you lost? That's a great beetle, but we have a specific threat for showing off our prize pets. This is a commemoration for a tournament which you did not participate in. Besides, this is not an English-speaking forum. Please use a translation service. They are incredibly easy to use, and we would love to talk with you. Motherfucker, you're making me break my stuff! Hog slice. Aftermath. Thread was then flagged by Foundation AICs and removed from public view. Nakato Sir-Resident, Seo Hirotada, reported SCP-6591 entering his residence via emerging from underneath the floorboards despite the home being built on flat ground. Entity assaulted Hirotada with punching gloves, repeatedly asking if the victim has ever seen Rocky. When the victim fell to the floor, SCP-6591 unlocked multiple cages containing exotic insects and poured them atop your toddler's body. SCP-6591 leapt in the air 
and drove its elbow into his chest. SCP-3599-1D 3599 one manifested and so contacted law enforcement and was later admitted to her hospital with a shattered ribcage. Standard Foundation Fell Retention Protocol followed. Addendum 6599-3 Containment Law Following a period of data collection related to SCP-3599, attempts to contain the anomaly were authorized by Area 179's Containment Authority under the direction of Researcher Coates. Attempts are listed below. Proposed Containment Lower SCP-3599-1 via use of a D-Class subject. Subdue SCP-3599-1 with tranquilizer dots. Result, SCP-3599 attempt engaged on a forum related to Scrimshaw. SCP-3599-1 manifested, batted its way into Area 179's testing chamber, Alpha-4, and immediately attacked D-662833. Tranquilized dots were unable to penetrate SCP-3599-1 skin and effectively sedated. D-662833 survived with a fractured skull, three broken vertebrae, and a broken tibia. Proposed containment Lower SCP-3599-1 via use of a D-class subject. Test Chamber Alpha 5 will be refitted with a conductive flooring and wall panels. These will be electrified until SCP-3599-1 is subdued. Result SCP-3599 account engaged on a board related to square dancing. The door to Test Chamber Alpha 5 was left open, and a path was cleared. Upon SCP-3599-1 entering, the chamber was electrified. This was ineffective, as SCP-3599-1 was able to withstand the footage, remarking that the feeling was weak as crap. D-109682 was scribed by SCP-3599-1 and thrown at the opposite wall, electrocuting them. D-110465 suffered third-degree burns on 60% of his dumbass and two broken arms. Proposed containment, lower SCP-3599-1 via use of a D-class subject. With approval from O55, Agent Woodcock, yielding SCP-5175 will then be implanted into Test Chamber Alpha-6 to confront SCP-6599-1. Result, Incident, C-599-029, see Addendum, C-599-4. Addendum, C-599-4, Incident, C-599-029. Personnel Dossier, Agent Woodcock and SCP-5175. SCP-5175 is an ornate Moroccan knife harboring an incorporeal entity designated SCP-5175-1, which claims to be a spirit of a Japanese samurai named Kudoitanken Honzo. When muted by its host, Agent Woodcock, SCP-5175 is capable of removing any form of life from baseline reality upon laceration. Due to a specific set of circumstances related in a cross-linked file, SCP-5175-1 and by extension SCP-5175 is intrinsically linked to Agent Woodcock, and the two share a connection that would lead to Woodcock's employment with the Foundation. Agent Damien Lawrence Woodcock, Captain of Mobile Task Force Omega-5, Damien's Angels, is stationed at Area 179 for the purpose of wielding SCP-5175 as the object has proven successful in the neutralization of dangerous anomalies. While Woodcock has demonstrated in maturity and character unbecoming of a Foundation agent, most likely attributed to his unconventional background, his effectiveness in various neutralization, decommissioning, and tactical efforts has proven him a valuable asset to the Foundation. Begin Log SCP-3591 appears outside Test Chamber Alpha-6 and punches through the plexiglass V 
viewing area. Shattering the plastic, the entity climbs into the chamber through the window. The interior lights had been turned off. Who the fuck turned out the lights? I don't like the dark unless I'm having sex, which I'm not, so turn the lights on. All attempts to write SCP-6589-1 speech during the transcription process of this log has been resulted in capitalization. The cause of this minor anomaly is unknown, and a way to circumvent it has yet to be discovered. Agent Woodcock, who was never taken by the use of SCP-5175-1, kicks SCP-6589-1 in the stomach before darting back into the shadows. SCP-6591 groans, then frantically looks around the chamber, attempting to find a source of the blow. Hey, what the hell? Why don't you come out and fight me like a man? Piss clown! Scumfish! The lights flicker and eventually stabilize, revealing Agent Woodcock crouching against a corner of the chamber and holding SCP-5175 outward in a defensive position. SCP-5175-1 hovers above him. Woodcock wears a modified Seeker Special Issue Combat Armor suit, which is capable of enhancing his performance on the field. Holy crap, Scott Steiner, that's so badass! Do the math promo! Shouldn't you be managing a GameStop version? Is that a... Whoa, that's a skull tattoo. The one on your bicep. I have one just like it, but with more flames. And there's also a snake coming out of the eyes. There's a banner underneath it that says, No guards, no map. SCP-65 and line one sprints toward Woodcock, lining itself up for a spear tackle. Agent Woodcock slides under the entity's legs. SCP-3599-1 attempts to tackle SCP-5175-1 instead, but faces through the spectre, colliding with the wall. Woodcock reorients himself towards SCP-3599-1, reading SCP-5175 and leaps at the entity. SCP-3599-1 quickly turns, Cutting Woodcock mid-air over his shoulder, before slamming the agent into the floor, cracking the linen lean. Shut the frig up! Woodcock spits out a rat of blood. <laughs> Finally, a worthy opponent! Intro, play my music! Woodcock has compiled a playlist of songs to be played during his engagements, thinking they help him focus better. As foundation analysis has determined better performance when music is played, Woodcock's request has been granted, and a speaker has been installed onto the protective combat gear. Woodcock's armor begins playing the song 96 Quite Bitter Beans by Music Collective CYK. Woodcock demonstrates approval of the song, screaming in glee. And so it's time for a train to pay off. Prepare to be vanquished by death, my bitch! SCP-5175-1 appears above Woodcock. It then flies towards SCP-6599-1, who once again attempts unsuccessfully to punch the entity. While SCP-6599-1 is distracted, Woodcock unholsters shurikens from his armor and slings them at SCP-6599-1. The entity quickly punches through a wall, ripping out a large chunk of concrete and uses it as a makeshift shield. SCP-6591 launches the concrete at Woodcock. Before it makes contact, SCP-5175-1 appears in front of the agent and diverts the rock to a wall. SCP-6591 grabs Woodcock by the throat, throwing him into the air then grabbing his legs and slamming the agent into the ground, shattering the tile. SCP-6591 does not release his grip and instead tosses the agent into the air again by his legs. As Agent Woodcock begins to plummet, SCP-6591 cocks his fist and connects with the agent's chest, sending him soaring into the opposite wall. SCP-5175-1 manifests under Agent Woodcock, 
orienting the agent to allow him to spring from the wall. Woodcock flies over SCP-6591, who attempts unsuccessfully to grab the agent midair, and bounces again off of another wall and onto SCP-6591's back. SCP-5175-1 punches at SCP-6591's legs, attempting to take it off balance. SCP-6591 begins to thrash as Woodcock's grip tightens. Woodcock is unable to stop SCP-6591 as his knife hand is firmly in the grip of SCP-6591. SCP-6591 runs backward into a wall, jumping and slamming Woodcock into the concrete, who finally releases his grip. Woodcock lands on his feet in the phased chamber as SCP-6591 appears to be catching his breath. <sighs> You're pretty good. Not no bad yourself, dip crap. <sighs> the two ran at each other. Woodcock tosses SCP-5175 into the air, catching it and stabbing at SCP-6591 who dodge each attempt or attempts to punch Woodcock made by SCP-6591 are deflected by SCP-5175. Is that a mother freaking Yoda reference? He's kind of like a stand, actually, if you would think. I don't know what that is. He's a skeleton, though. That's freaking cool, brother. SCP-5175-1 grabs SCP-6591 and throws it you the ground. You had enough yet? Eh, I'm just getting started. You ever dance with the devil in the, uh, under the, in the moon? The Joker said that. I freaking love the Joker. Hell yeah, bro. SCP-6591 leaps to its feet and readjusts its sunglasses, which are now physically cracked. The entity charges forward, but Woodcock counters with a punch from SCP-5175-1, who now stands in front of the agent. The two exchange blows for a period of time, fighting to a stalemate. I'm thinking of getting a portrait of the Joker on my thigh. That'd be sick! Wait, I'm fighting you! Stop distracting me! SCP-6591 goes to punch Agent Woodcock but is once again deflected by SCP-5175-1. Angered, SCP-6591 begins to target SCP-5175-1 as Agent Woodcock slides under the entity's legs and toward the chunk of concrete left on the floor. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Woodcock runs at the concrete, using it as a springboard. He leaps towards a wall, Bouncing off of it towards SCP-6591, driving the blade into SCP-6591's back, and pulling the knife out, SCP-6591 falls to a knee. Skinolinko Pagliniko, Eo Mate Colosso, Tachino, Pedo Sayonara. Not only the moon apples, but also the mayo. Goodbye, my pet. God damn it! That ain't no pocket knife, son! Ah, uh, sucks having you end this so early. I was having fun! Never had anyone could ever keep up with me before. You did all right. I buy you a beer, you piece of crap. Uh, in the next life then, okay? If you're gonna fish me off, do it right, bastard! SCP-2591 grabs SCP-5175 and stabs a knife further into SCP-6591's cheek. Y you're a badass motherfucker. Hell yeah, you are. That was kind of fun. Purple mist surrounds SCP-6591 and the entity disappears. Tears are seen forming in Agent Woodcock's eyes. He sheaths SCP-5175 and exits the testing chamber. End log. Addendum 6995 Behavioral Changes 
following the altercation with SCP-5175-1 and POI-3445, SCP-3599 and SCP-6529-1 were presumed to be neutralized. As with the case of other anomalies that have been lacerated by SCP-5175, however, SCP-6529 accounts resumed activity the following day. Though a number of changes in posting behavior were noted, SCP-6529 began writing opening posts instead of responses, seemingly inviting communication from others. Secondly, SCP-6529 accounts began posting exclusively on websites related to psychology, therapy, anger management, self-improvement, and life advice at a rate less frequent than its previous activity levels. Below is an abridged list of examples. Website Flower Galore, a website dedicated to advice and do yourself life hacks regarding personal gardens. Hello, douchebags! Some asshole told me I needed to touch grass, and when I did, I really liked it. I'd like to grow more grass, please. I have a few questions. Answer them or I'm gonna grow crap. I'm very tall. Does that scare the grass like it does people? I like the smell, but it only happens when it gets cut. Does the grass like being cut, or is it a bitch? I want to have the most goddamn grass this side of this country. How much grass is that? I also want enough to shove up that figure who told me to touch that grass's ass. Thank you, Hawk Slice. Website Self Improvement, a subreddit dedicated to self improvement and helping others in the community grow. What I like to do When I get mad, sometimes I go outside and pretend I'm a chuck hog. I tear the grass up with my hands and dig a hole until I forget what I was angry at, and I have a sick hole to play in. Hawk Slice How do not break anything when I think of the Mucanex commercial and that figure bore of mucus? I hate that hassle. He thinks he's better than me. I don't want him to win. Hawk Slice I want a friend. Hawk Slice I think I'll get a therapist. I was watching The Sopranos. You know I could resonate with Italians so much. And that guy Tony and I have a lot in common. He has a therapist, and she says he has anger issues. He also kicks ass and has lots of sex, and I identified with that part more. But maybe I will see a therapist to help me find a friend. Hawk Slice this pattern continued uninterrupted for months. On 2012, June 11th, all SCP-6529 accounts ceased activity and went offline. The designation to neutralize remains pending. Addendum 6599-6 Update On 2014, November 19th, all accounts registered to Area 179 SkipNet server received the following email in their inboxes. To Area 179, from me, subject, this is an update. Hello, figures who tried to kill me and failed, I'm ripped. I stopped using the internet for two years after I realized I was kind of messed up. I went to one of those Midwest states with a lot of corn and met up with a kick-ass group of bikers. I drive a Harley Davidson because they are nicknamed hogs. Tell that word over the knife that he's cool, and he ever wants a beer, he can reach out. Hog nice. No further activity on any SCP-2529 account has been noted, and SCP-2529-1's whereabouts are currently unknown.